preserving our past, building our future was the capital campaign that we shared in building and renovating at Christ the King, which kicked off in the fall of 2016 and ran through the years of 17, 18, and 19. And that's when the renovation and the building began. When we decided to do our building and reno renovation campaign, one of our members spoke up and said we are outwardly giving con congregations. So we decided we needed to figure out where 10% of what we raised toward our building and renovation would go. It was one of the foundational pieces for us to uh, do the biblical practice of tithing uh, the blessings of what comes in and using 10% of that to give back to God. You are an outward facing congregation. You care deeply about God's people who are outside of the four walls of Christ the King. You keep at the forefront of your mind that everything that we have is a gift from God. And so you listen to the community around you and you look for ways to serve. Here at Christ the King, we have a tagline where God's love comes to life. And with the benefits of your generosity and through the gift of this tithe, God's love is coming to life. So as we thought of this tithe, and of the generosity and the gift that we had to share and how God's work could come to life. We really put a lot of thought and prayer and listening to where the Holy Spirit was calling us. And so we had a bunch of ideas on the table. We brought them to the council. Nothing really stuck out. And then COVID-19 came. Uh, COVID-19 has had a dramatic impact on camp. Um, during the spring, when we were uh, facing safer at home orders from Governor Evers, all of our spring programming was canceled. Um, it was a good choice to keep people safe, but it meant we lost most of our spring revenue. And then we made the same decision for the summer to cancel uh, our camp programming to keep our campers and our staff safe. Over 60% of our annual revenue comes from summer camp, and so that had a dramatic impact on our budget. So we got together and as we heard more about the story of the troubles that Crossways would be facing with the loss of their summer income, it became clear to the council that this is what we have been called to do. This is how we have been called to serve through your generosity and your gift. And so we're excited to be able to give this gift to Crossways to turn into a challenge to our synod. We are so excited about this $50,000 matching opportunity. We estimate that to meet our year-end needs, we're going to need to raise at a minimum $200,000. The generosity of Christ the King gets us a quarter of the way there. But when your generosity challenges the rest of our community to double that amount, we will be halfway to our goal. And that amount happens to be almost exactly what we need to bring our staff back from furlough to working full hours at full pay. We are very happy to choose Crossways because so many of our families have used Crossways, not only for our youth ministry and the, the students that have gone there as part of confirmation camp, but a lot of our families are very dedicated and they use the family camp and we often will help with um, renovating the cabins and that's been one of our stewardship items also is just trying to help the Crossways ministry in other ways so it just seemed like a very appropriate fit. We give thanks for what Crossways means to many people who go to outdoor ministries and how it impacts their lives to serve God and to understand and form them in what it means to be a child of God. We give thanks for the generosity of the people of Christ the King and how they have shared of their blessings from God. Because of your generosity, Christ the King. Because of your generosity, Christ the King. Because of your generosity, Christ the King. You have successfully preserved the past and the spirit of giving. We are building on our future. You have given us hope. Because of your generosity, Christ the King, God's love is coming to life.